Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam, and today we're going to be looking at chords again. I've covered videos about making chords, but one of you guys requested me to make a video about doing like a top lead, doing the chords, and there's so many ways we can approach making chords. So I thought, why not just start with a clean slate? And we'll make like a baseline, we'll do like a top lead, kind of different situations where you might be in, whether it be a drop, whether it be a break. And uh, really remember one key thing before we jump in is that when you're making chords, though musical theory is important, don't go jumping into big books reading about this theory and that theory, because when you're making like modern dance music, it's really, it's quite simplistic, it can get sophisticated. And really, there's not a lot of rules with it. So at the end of the day, I'd say it's more important to uh, verse yourself with like getting familiar with notes, maybe learning some piano can really help. Um, people like Henry Fogg mentions that a lot, you know, there's always uh, an inherent boost uh, skill set that you'll get when you learn some other instruments. Myself, I play clarinet. And so uh, I'm sure that the clarinet and the musical theory and playing in bands helped me to some extent but you can always learn and you don't have to know those instruments. I do a lot of stuff by ear. So we're gonna add an instance of massive. So you really wanna focus on one note when you're making chords because the simpler, the easier, and then you can start to add layers. So we're gonna make this like a bass sound. Now, yeah, it's a higher pitch, but I just want it to be more audible. So let's just start with a note. So we landed on C sharp. Should we do C sharp? Let's just start with C sharp because we've landed here. So let's say this is our beginning note. What do we want to formulate? So let's, let's maybe do like a, a bass line. So my methodology, why I go from C sharp to A is just the story that I want to tell. So I like the vibe of this. This is what I'm envisioning. We started with C sharp, right? Uh, I want to go da, 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 A, and then maybe go up F sharp, ba, 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 and then maybe do da, 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 da. So here's a golden tip. Really focus on how the last bar connects with the first bar. Uh, create motion and almost like a hill, make it to the point where, you know, do you ever wonder why songs like a lot of songs by Avicii or some songs that have very simple melodies, uh, whether it be like chain smokers or whoever, sometimes they're very catchy because they're predictable. They make them predictable. Now, not like annoying predictable, but you can tell what's coming. The transitions are very well seamed together. And so here, I'm going to do that. So let's just keep it simple. I won't go up there. This is nothing, uh, this is nothing great, but let's just move it down an octave. Control A and control down arrow. I don't typically put reverb on a bass, but for this tutorial, I just want it to be heard a bit more. So let's uh, slap on some sort of lead because um, the man wants to know what you would do for like a top lead. Let's just make this wide so it's more separated. So for the top lead, um, you know, the top lead could be part of the chord. The top lead could be maybe just the root note. The top lead could be like a middle chunk because if we do a note here, right? If we're doing these chords, C sharp. Let's go a bit higher. 
So that's like the classic sad or dark kind of minor. I believe this is C-sharp minor. If you do need help, there are helpers for that as well. There are helpers for that. If you go to the top and you go to stamp, I believe if you just select one of these, for instance, melodic chords, you can go to minor and then whatever note you select, you can see it's the same one. So we did do C-sharp minor. So with that being said, like the top lead could be anything. And um, let's just work with that. We, we always want to stay basic before we start stacking stuff on top. If you make it way too sophisticated right away, it could maybe hurt your workflow. So let's try and make like a top layer. I'm a big fan. Armin Van Buren does this sometimes. So if you know what I'm going to go to, I want to do that. Da, 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 da. That kind of like that suspenseful. Usually they do that after eight bars. Like at the eighth bar, they do that. And what well, you're probably wondering, Ali, what the hell you're talking about. So let's see here. I might have to go up. Uh, so anytime you guys are messing around, just go ahead and clone. So you have the original and let's tweak this. So this is weird. It's all over the place. You know, maybe it's not right theory wise, but we're making something. And again, let's focus on the last note and the first note. You know, I said last bar, first bar, but I really mean last note and first note. Because, you know, when you hear something, it's like, da, 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 da. You know, they're attaching to each other. They're attaching to each other. So the last note will tell the story of like what's going to go on when it loops back to the first one you'll know that when you hear but you know that's not a good example let's fix this because we're coming back to c sharp so you know you get an idea there because it's like close to c sharp it's it's giving the hint that it's going to go to c sharp and um, now we can, we have basically some sort of idea. Now, whether you want to call this like drop idea, whether you want to call this break idea, it's really up to you. Let's have a quick listen. And now let's just focus on this. Let's see like what we can build into it, right? Swedish House Mafia, you can watch an interview where they talk about like they would, they would make a lot of chords, but one synth was playing one note, something was playing a different note. So you don't have to necessarily make your synth play chords, so to speak. You could make like a choir play F sharp and then like a synth is playing A sharp and then something's playing in between. So you don't have to necessarily uh, always make your synth playing so many chords simultaneously. It's not necessary. You can always do like just the root, the top, spread it amongst different instruments. 
So uh, let's just bring in something that can give us a bit of a, a little bit of like choir or something. All right, so uh, let's just bring in like a simple choir or something. Uh, let's go to let's go here, human voice, uh, classical choir, I think. All right, it's going to be really loud, but I think it'll work. So let's just think like we were doing C sharp. Let's just go by ear again. Like I said, I do a lot of stuff by ear. sharp and G sharp okay Let's listen to just this. Added those top layers. Let's see if uh, if this works. Let's try moving. Let's try moving them upwards. Maybe we won't even do bass notes. Maybe we'll just do like a sustained note. That's a bit off-putting because it's like kind of conflicting with the bass. So what do we have thus far? We have kind of like this uh, base idea with like a top layer. And um, yeah, you could definitely take this and turn it into whatever. I mean, it's really up to you, right? Like it's really about your music at the end of the day, like Looper said, is a representation of you. It represents you as your character. It's your story. It's who you are. And so that's why a lot of music that I write is so like dark and like filthy and dirty because... I think like our upbringing, uh, what we consume as children, like in terms of like gaming and activities and whatnot. So if as long as you're an interesting person and you're not some, I don't know, like it's 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 hard to articulate sometimes because 
if you're early in doing music, like it's difficult. You can't really rush. It, imagine like the guy that's working out, right? He's in the gym. He can't just start bench pressing, you know, two plates on each side. Like he has to progress slowly. And it's the same thing with your ears. When I jump into this, like at first I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Like I couldn't even do a simple, like when I tried to replicate melodies and I had friends, I had a friend who didn't know the concept of, of like on beat. He, he couldn't like clap his hands on a beat, like on a, on a tempo. He didn't know what it meant. And I had another friend who, um, he, he tried to replicate some midis, like melodies from classic tracks, like I'm blue, like, you know, all the other songs, whatever. And he would get the melodies so wrong, but they are unaware of it. So, um, really key thing. I think if you want to accelerate your learning, definitely get your hands on some sort of keyboard or piano, uh, we have a piano in the home. I have uh, played many instruments growing up. I was always inter interested in instruments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can download it for free in the video description. You can check out the FLP with all the midis and everything there. What I'm going to do to wrap it up, I'm just going to maybe add a little bass. So I'm just going to add like a little sub bass. Uh, I'm going to go to sine square. Gonna make it monophonic. Uh, sub, there we go. Be careful again with uh, sub bass, cause like, see how it's getting floppy? Like, and you won't hear it on earbuds or on the phone. But it's, it'll get way too floppy if you go too low. Like, I don't go below C. Like, I don't start going into this, like, danger zone where it's, like, below 20 hertz. That's just way too low. So I always move it up a couple octaves to just find the notes and then I slide it back down. That's a quick, easy tip. Because we don't want to go below, like this has to be the absolute lowest C sharp. So now guys, we have something that's C sharp minor and we made like a top layer lead, kind of like this bubbly lead and uh, the kind of bass underneath. But these all coincide with, I believe, like a C sharp minor kind of chord. Now, might be right, might be wrong. It might not be theoretically correct, but just you got to listen to your ear and just go with what kind of vibe, story, and sound you like. So let's play this back. Pretty good. I like it. It's uh, it's giving me some 80s vibe, Depeche Mode vibe. I was listening to some yesterday, so maybe that explains this, you know? Don't uh, underestimate your environmental factors and influences. They play a big role in the music that you will make. So hope you guys enjoyed this. You can download the FLP in the video description. Remember to smash that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you hit that notification bell. And if you guys have any requests of your own, any tutorials you want created, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.